In today's restoration, we have a painting that was sadly damaged due to flooding. The owner of this painting would like the item restored so that its design can be appreciated once again. The painting is called Black Tor by Ben Grahey. Due to the extreme damp, this painting has suffered. Mold has grown dramatically all over the paper. In order to restore this artwork, it's important the correct measures are taken. Removing the surface layer of mold is vital in order to see the true amount of damage though also to free this painting of the unwanted growth. This is done by brushing the paper clear of any visible mold. A vacuum equipped with a HEPA filter is used in order to collect the debris and contain the fine mold spores. When working with moldy paintings, masks are used to avoid inhaling airborne spores. The paper used for watercolor painting is made up of layers. Here, the layers are picked apart carefully by a spatula in order to repair this work. Due to the extreme conditions this artwork has experienced, the adhesive used to hold the layers together has failed, making for easy separation.
so that any remaining mold particles can be discarded, a smoke sponge is gently wiped over the surface. Doing so ensures that the surface is clean and safe to work on. Once separated, the cleaning process can begin. In order to remove the embedded dirt caused by the flooding, a humidity chamber is created. This involves using a damp towel, a sheet of Gore-Tex, and a thick sheet of glass all placed in a plastic tray. A humidity chamber allows the paper to become damp without becoming wet. By doing so, the paper can be cleaned safely and without creating further damage. Once the paper has become damp, it is then placed between blotters to soak up excess liquid. Polyester material known as bondina is used as a release layer to avoid the painting sticking. The painting is then placed on a vacuum table and sprayed with deionized water. This whole process is carried out multiple times till the dirt within the paper has disappeared. Once clean, the paper is humidified one last time. Wheat starch paste is made by mixing wheat starch powder with water. The solution used today is 10%.
Japanese paper is made from an array of different plant fibers, even some cotton fibers, creating a strong and durable material, ideal for paper conservation. Wheat starch paste binds the painting to the Japanese paper. Now damp, the painting is placed and lined onto Japanese paper. Excess wheat starch is removed from the painting with a spatula. It is left to air dry. Once dry, the painting is humidified one last time to relax the paper. It is placed on brown gummed paper so it can dry flat.
missing areas of the paper are filled in with additional Japanese paper and wheat starch. The paper is torn rather than cut. By doing so, exposes the fibers of the material, allowing for a stronger and smoother join.
the infills are retouched with the appropriate and matching watercolors. Matching paint takes years of experience and expertise. Once restored, the painting is measured and cut for a window mount ready for a new frame. Truly incredible. Let's take a look at the before and after. From a flooded wreck to a restored gem. <laughs>